Quick announcement, I have a new channel over on Kamikaze Jeff, which will be a place where I'll put all of my other stuff that I'm doing that's not best of one magic standard. So I'll be doing brawl decks, I'll be doing best of three, I'll be doing the drafts and different events, as well as any other games I wanna be playing, Legends of Runeterra, which I had played before and a couple of stuff like that, that I just didn't feel like match what I'm trying to do for this channel here. Uh, and so that's another place to just put all the live stream and replays, all that kind of stuff that just, I don't have to worry about YouTube algorithm, just a place to kind of dump videos, because I do, a lot of recording that I just don't end up showing to you guys because it doesn't work for the YouTube algorithm. And so that's another place I can do that. So anyway, let's go and jump into the video. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Vadrock Midrange. So I was playing the Brawl uh, event that they had going on when they had Vadrock as one of the Brawl commanders there. And I was really, really impressed and realized I've definitely been sleeping on this card as just a good value engine. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, you may cast target non-creature card with convert mana cost three or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So we can't just replay our Justice Strikes. And that's what I was noticing. I, I had that going for me in one of the Brawl uh, games that I was playing with it and just just to strike over and over again kills so many things there's a lot of things with death touch there's a lot of things that it just does really a lot for it we get to replay scorching dragon fire whatever we can also replay our non-creature spells which is birth of melitus our uh, teferi time raveler and there are other ones that I could definitely bring into here like narset you could go a little bit more towards the non-creature side but I wanted to kind of stick with the mutate ability and make sure that we are actually getting out creatures that mutate onto this and so things like sea dash or octopus we can play this on turn three and then start mutating maybe two times with C dash or octopus draw two cards and get two things from the uh from the graveyard back onto the battlefield uh or sorry from the graveyard you know yeah you can either replay the teferi time rather for free uh switch and dragon fire something like that i'm debating if we also want to just like throw burn into this or whatever so there's a bunch of different ways to play this i decided to go with just two copies of interaction things that are going to be useful value stuff two copies of op two copies of birth melitus lava quill scorch and dragon fire justice strike so we can get the early game there's a lot of Rakdos aggro type of stuff going on. Uh, so that's why we have the flame sweeps in here as well. Two copies of Fair Time Raveler. And I, the two copies actually seem to work pretty well for me so far in the test, little testing I've done for this. We have Narset, uh, which is just really great with all the different uh, non creature spells that we have. Uh, we have a few that are a little bit more on the top end, so we can kind of hit the bigger creatures. It also just draws us cards and gains us life and helps us ramp a little bit. So it works really well in the, in the deck here uh, where we're playing some creatures, but not a fully a heavy creature deck. We have Everquill Phoenix, just another another way to mutate onto like a bone crusher giant swing in for a bunch of damage over the top uh cub warden just a one of i think is perfect for this card uh yeah it's really good whenever this creature mutates create two white cat creature tokens i've had this come down on turn four and then occasionally just like you know give it flying with everquill phoenix or just put out a few a few cat tokens and it just slows the game down so much gives you lifelink and can be a finisher for sure uh, i did i decided because we can pretty easily just splash into a different color uh, to run the Aluma of uh, Apex of Wishes because its mutate ability doesn't actually require green. We can just use the red side of it for the mutate ability and then splash one card here for green just in case we need it so that we can play our Aluma. Uh, but for the most part, we're not really planning on that. Uh, and it works out pretty well for us. Then we have our Dream Trawler. Uh, which is just a really good top end card and with this deck we have so many different uh, ways to draw cards just a lot of good value overall that dream trailer is just works really well on the top end to be kind of in a mid-rangey deck rather than the controlly build uh and so it's pretty good i'm thinking of even dropping down to one copy of this and maybe having like inspired ultimatum we could even go honestly you could probably go like uh, our kind of son's grace and have a bunch more like uh enchantment type of things that go to the graveyard that you can bring back with Fadrock. So there's a lot of different things you can go with this. This is the deck that I built right away, just kind of my first little take with this. And I honestly will probably change it in the future. We may do a uh, a best of three version of this on my second channel, which if you guys want to check out my second channel, I did just barely create it uh, just for all the things that aren't my basic best of one decks that I built because I was realizing that with YouTube algorithm, it just wasn't working out to do this exact same way every single time. And so if you guys check out, it's down in the description below, Komakazi Jeff, uh, that's my, my gamer name here. Um, and that way I can just play anything that's gaming related that's not magic. So I'll definitely be doing magic stuff on there because that's the game I play, you know, but I might add some like Legends of Runeterra. I've done like my Zelda stuff in the past or whatever uh, and may just add other things along the way. Uh, but that's just kind of a place I can put everything else that doesn't 
that, that way I don't have to worry about the YouTube algorithm as much over there. Uh, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let's go and jump into the gameplay, see how it does for us, and wish me luck. Gamanja Power. All right, we have Birth of Melitus. We don't have any blue mana, so a little bit awkward, but we do have Lava Quails for some interaction. Um, Earth of Melitus. I mean, do we really just need to make sure that we hit our blue mana? We can kind of just hope that we will. And maybe in time for like a time wipe. So let's let's go ahead and keep it. If we can get up to the time wipe, we should be fine. And then kind of build our deck, uh, our board after the fact. If we get to Narset, that would be really nice. We get to fix our mana pretty well there. Uh, yeah, so I've only played like a couple games with this deck so far. And I've liked it from what I've seen. It's been pretty powerful. Play the Sacred Foundry Pass. And we'll see where we're up against. Oh, I, I need to switch out my card art. Clearly, that's more important. I'm, I'm not playing Magic right. Obviously. All right, I like the Vadrox. Vadrock. Okay, grab a Plains, pass the turn. Um, If we don't hit lands, then Bonecrusher Giant would be nice. <laughs> So that we could at least be playing something here. Run away, Steam Kin. Okay, that'll probably hit our Lava Coil. Just to get rid of it. And then hopefully we can kind of survive up until the time wipe. I think it's probably our best play now. Especially not hitting any blue mana yet. Alright, so just Lava Coil. Scorch, uh, Scorch Bitter can still swing through and get one point of damage through this. But I'd rather them not have the chance to just play out their entire hand soon. So getting rid of that I think is more important at the moment. We gain two life as well anyway, which will kind of counteract, counteract that. So how are you guys doing? How's everything, everyone holding up through all the quarantine stuff, all the craziness? Um, I know that we've, we're kind of finished with the move. Uh, moving into our new place was something kind of like, we almost kind of forgot that we were in quarantine for a bit because we had to have movers, we had to have helpers, and we kind of had to do some stuff. And now we're back to being as as quarantine as possible, you know, and it's it's a change. It's always crazy. I think we have 25 lands in this deck. And I'm not sure. Hmm. Is the opponent just timing us out here? All right, there's Annex. Okay, we like to just bounce with Teferi here, or maybe destroy with Narset. I'm not sure we want to get rid of our Time Wipe just yet. With Annex out, it's a little bit annoying. And Time Wipe, we can still play out creatures. Like a first striking Vadrock would be really nice here against the Annex, actually. Be able to get back our, our Lava Quail on the next turn. All right, yeah. <laughs> Good play, opponent. Nice. Down. Okay, we do get blue mana. We gain the two life that we're going to use right here. Pay two. Um, all right, so here's the question. We could Narset, discard to Fairy, and kill Annex. Just get rid of the board. We can play out Vadrox later, get back to Fairy. Um, maybe like after Sea Octopus or something. So let's let's actually go for that plan. Narset, we have more ways of getting life. Unfortunately, Scorchbitter can... Oh, no, it goes to two. Never mind. All right, so Consider discard future, to Fairy, hit Annex. I actually like this. Like, being able to discard to Fairy and feel like we have a pretty good shot of getting it back is really cool. Like, it's actually really nice. Uh, to Fairy is the perfect thing to be getting back. So I do think this is, again, a little bit more of a short case, showcase deck rather than, like, the perfect optimal deck. And they are going to go as slow as humanly possible, aren't they? And they do get to kill Narset, actually, if they swing both there. Dude, you are playing mono red. I know there's a lot. A lot of people don't think that there's a lot to think about there. There is a lot to think about, but it should be fast decisions. All right, the shock there. That's cool. This was not my plan. We want uh, burn spells out of their hand, so Vadrock will survive. Uh, so the best thing would be more blue mana, so we can Vadrock, C Dash or Octopus, Instant Speed, and uh, play to Fairy. You may cast target non-creature spell. All right, so it's it's when it happens, so you should be able to avoid the sorcery speed casting cost, I believe. 
Lava can. Run, I mean, runaway sneak in. All right, there we go. Sweet. All right, and this actually is really nice with time wipe because we get to bring these back and do it again. So, Vadrock. I guess we could mutate onto this, but then it has Defender. All right, so play Vadrock. We just want to bounce. We get back um, to Fairy. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do it now. So flash it out now. Put it under. Grab to Fairy. We could grab the Lava Coil, but we'll just slow it down for let's a turn or two. We have a pretty good blocker. More mana. That's nice. We would like more mutators so that we can do it again. We get to swing in and draw cards next turn, hopefully. Yeah, I definitely was undervaluing Vadrock. Uh, I think the hardest thing is that it's in the Jeskai colors, and if you're playing Jeskai, it's you typically want to just be playing, you know, Fires of Invention, you know, all those different things. Where Vadrock is a little bit. Um, more in these kind of mid-range style of deck like because you have to play other mutate creatures to really make it work or ways of great tokens so i could see it also running into like uh potentially a um what's it called deck uh winota you could do like a jeskai winota deck with badrock to be able to get back you're just early again like your your uh raise the alarms maybe some interaction early game any other token generators would be pretty nice you could also be playing teferis in that deck to make sure that you you uh, don't counter things um you can't you can't put it onto humans though is the biggest issue so if you don't have the non uh, the non-humans out uh you don't really get to put badrix onto anything but i do think winota would be a decent home for it i would swing in here with just the scorch bitter if i was them he doesn't swing it with that all right i'm fine with that um they have reach do I care about the Steamkin? We have the Time Wipe. So Birth of Melitus. Grab a Plains. Tick up. Here goes nothing. I mean, drawing a card here is really nice, but if we get to kill two of their best things. So yeah, so if they block with Rabbit Rich, great. We have first strike. All right, they let us draw, sweet. All right, so down to 17, draw a card, flame sweep. Uh, do we wanna wait and see? We'll flame sweep. That seems like a really good time to flame sweep. <laughs> oh, and we get to bring it back if ever we mutate again. So they can't really build a board around it. Yeah, that's... Oh man, this is kind of a hard lock against the aggro decks. Like once you get a few pieces out, it's so good. I mean, Vadrock can die to a lot of things. Like people are playing uh, um, Lava Coils and whatnot in those decks, but that felt really good. Up against Magic Mike, two land hands are the bane of my existence. We have Bone Crusher. If we hit to three lands, we have a pretty good deck. So I mean, we're gonna go ahead and keep this. Again, as I always say, if I don't play three two land hands, I don't play magic. So I, I just keep them, especially if I can play things. If not, then yeah, we're done. Not doing all sorts of that stuff. Uh, opt for land or do I shock here? We can shock kind of later. I'd almost like to, to make sure we can hit the Luris. Um, so we might just opt for a land here. I, I guess I can wait till the next turn. Pass the turn because if they have a. Uh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods as well. We want to kill that. We'll take the one. Hopefully I don't have uh, Drill. Okay, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Perfect. All right, we will kill you. I guess I could have also opt there to see if we could still hit land beforehand and shocked on this turn. All right, not a land. Put it to the bottom. Okay, we need a land. What? All right, I thought for sure with 25 lands in this deck... Yeah, we had 46% chance to hit land on each of those. Probably a little bit less, but... Ah! That's really not good. All right, down to 18. Witch's Oven. Yep, swing in. At O, folks. At O. Okay, Scorching Dragonfire. 
Oh man, I think we're gonna lose this one just because we haven't hit any lands. Alright, yep. Bring it back. Come on, bring it back. You know you want to. Do it right now. Yes. Alright, resolve. We're gonna let them have the Knight of the Even Legion get rid of the cat. Honestly, the Knight of the Evil Legion might be worse. But now that's exiled. Pump or do they play the Luris here? Yeah, it's just pump. Hit for a bunch and a half. Down to 12. Let's get either removal or land. Land would be grand. Like now, that doesn't even do anything for us anymore. How many turns has that been without Lance? 48% chance now on each draw. So I mean like the odds of it after a few times you're gonna hit it You have a better chance of hitting it over and over again And yeah, they just pump again Didn't even lose to our opponent here. We just lost to a terrible keep I guess Kill it take two. Yeah, okay, we're done <laughs> They, just, they have too much damage on board and they can bring stuff back like they can do this each turn with Luris uh, And I just don't think that we can we can come back from that even if we hit a land and a lot of ours are, are uh, Tap lands anyway up against PB and we have some removal. We have C dasher octopus Narset. This is looking like a great hand C dasher octopus um, I kind of like just as the creature itself as well because a lot of uh, people are playing low to the ground decks just tapped um, and the um, it, it comes out as a blocker actually pretty consistently to just kill something with one toughness or a one one there's a lot of one ones around or two, one twos like that scorching dragon fire they have the witches oven so I, I'm gonna hold up and try to get something a little bit better We have Teferi on the next turn, or C Dash or Octopus. A okay, down to 19. We just want to kill Witch, uh, Beast of Forgotten Gods, right? Not one there. Another Witch's Oven. All right, we'll just get rid of one. They're gonna sack it, gain two life, that's fine. Down to 17. They find a cat, we're in a little bit of trouble. Um, bring it out as a blocker or just a fairy time raveler. I know they don't really play pump spells and things, so I think that just kind of getting a gotcha moment here, we can balance whatever they have on the next turn. But being able to hit a land drop, I mean, I guess Sea Dasher Octopus kind of helps us there as well. We can also give it flying if we hit land. Headed for four draw cards. We have to deal with Priests of Forgotten Gods, though. All right, attacks in. Sea Dasher Octopus. I believe because it's Luris, they're gonna be playing, they might be playing a disfigure, but for the most part, it's gonna be permanent cards like Myers Grasp and Deadweight. I would assume so. All right, they sack it, that's fine. Down to 15. What else you got, sir? Name the firstborn, all right, that's annoying. I mean, we got rid of a claim the firstborn, which is terrible. Although we don't have a lot of stuff for it. Uh, all right, it's a fairy time raveler. Bounce a food token, I guess. We could just tick up, right wait for skin. Priest of Forgotten Gods, and have at least an answer for it. We could, but we need to hit a land drop here. Is it better to just play the slow game plan, like know that we will hit them eventually? We have Justice Strike. We have Narset. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, dang it. They can just sack this in response. Dang it. Oh, no. 
We don't even get to draw a card. That was a misplay. That's that. That's why uh, you should play Teferi more often than I do. <laughs> I just don't play control. And so, you know, because I'm better than that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All decks are good decks. All right. Whoa, Strider. Whoa, Strider. Um, man, this gets hit by Claim the Firstborn. But we get to bring back Scorching Dragonfire, which is really nice later, not this turn. Take that, pass the turn. Please no Claim the Firstborns. Keeps it on top. That's not a good sign. <laughs> I'll protect you. That's not good. Ah, oh, gosh. Everyone always has it. All the ways. Man, with having 25 lands, I know that you should maybe have like... Like, we're, we are a mid-range deck, but we have a lot of early game cards that I don't feel like we would need to be playing 20, uh, 26 or 27 with this. Woe Strider number two. Those get to come back, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, let's tick up here with Teferi. I could Narset and tick I've down. I could... Oh, I don't have the mana for Evercool Phoenix. I guess it's, it's Narset here. Discarding Inspired Ultimatum. Ikoria is familiar. I train in the shadows of giants. We just want to draw cards here. Hopefully hit our lands. Flame sweep Strike is also the nice. Mind of the dragon. See if they go ahead and sack it. It doesn't matter. They, they get a scry out of it. Yeah, I'll probably sack with Witch's Oven. I would probably sack for the scry, unless they kept it on top. I didn't see. Alrighty, we need white mana for uh, Time Wipe. If they have land here, they'll just bring back the Woe Strider. Swinging in our face. We are down to six after this. We need to find a way to gain some life. Woe Strider. Alright, that's a lot of Striders. <laughs> Whoa. Woe Strider. Whoa. All right, um, start gaining life every turn. We get to flame sweep in response. Do I want, I mean, anything we try to make them bounce, anything we try to bounce, they just draw the card with it, right? So I think we take up for now. I could, I could bounce Witch's Oven. I am not making this up as I go. Flame Sweep will be pretty good for us here on this turn. I'm hoping. Begins within. And pass the turn. We'll do it at instant speed. Ugh. I mean, we're definitely not out of the game. The life gain that Narset provides is actually really nice. Two per turn, especially if they're not going to focus on it. Very, very nice. A flame sweep just to strike on the next turn. You flashing in the octopus if we hit land I guess we could just bounce the man devil but I'd, I'd rather just get rid of that get it out of here all right well it's a land I guess I should have drawn first I guess OK, 
Okay, let's go ahead and bounce Witch's Oven. Lava Coil. Alright, add white mana or red mana. Many paths lie before Justice Strike. Get the sack, that's fine. We do have to find a way to actually finish out the game. Like that, that is that is one thing we don't have at the moment is a way to finish. You just let me know if you're yeah, which is Evan. Yeah, kills. It's fine. Pass the turn. We could bring out Sea Dasher Octopus. Hopefully, Evercool Phoenix gets onto it. Oh my goodness! Yeah, they have so many things. I mean, if we get to Lava Quail onto this, we should be fine. It just doesn't do it at instant speed. All right, um, only for non-creature spells. So, Mutate Evercool Phoenix on here. I don't think we're going to have a chance to Lava Quill effectively. We may just tick down with Narset at some point, but... Uh, put it over. Now it doesn't get hit by Claim the Firstborn. We're gaining as much life as Cauldron Familiar is doing. We, we are going to let them swing in, so one more turn. Okay, draw a card. What do we get? The, the Vadrock. I do like Vadrock. Doesn't really get to hit much, but we get to get to Fairy actually. To Fairy's sweet. <laughs> um, all right. Do we just want to go for card draw here? We can like discard Lava Quill to hit the Cauldron Familiar. I still like the idea of Time Wipe uh, for all the Woe Striders that may be coming back here. Exile four, so two can come back already. Um, I think we just gain life. Breathe in. Exhale. Yeah, just pass the turn. We gain the life that we need. We get to swing in and then time wipe, bring it back. The life gain that they are getting is annoying. That's for sure. This is going to be a long game. I do think that we are going to win it, especially if we get all like a Luma, a Luna. Priest of Forgotten Gods, okay. Things at our face. Cool. Down to eight. Um, Vadrock lets us play the fairy for free, right? All right, let's mutate onto Evercool Phoenix, create another one so we can bring back the Phoenix a multiple, multiple times now. Put it under. Bring back. Okay, bonus keep putting up. Yeah. <laughs> with the fairy, with all that, we can kind of uh, just put a hard lock on the game. Once we have it uh, away from claim the firstborn, they just don't have the removal that they need to be able to beat us there. Uh, yeah, that was. That's pretty sweet. All right, a lot of early game interaction. We will absolutely keep this. We do have the green mana for the Luna, which bringing it out on turn five instead of turn six is actually pretty nice. Um. If we want Justice Strike, we have to use this. Oh, sorry, I have a big truck driving by. Sorry about the, the noise. I am in a new spot, so it's a little bit harder to keep things quiet. 
Um, I there is a new um, program that I've heard that helps a lot with noise suppression. Um, my computer's not working with it just yet, and so I have to update some drivers or something like that. And then I'll be getting it, and we'll have it sounding great. Nugget of the Even Legion. Um, let's see. They're not going to hit with anything this turn. Do I want to shock myself? Like, we have the Flame Sweep. I think I'm going to go ahead and play it tap, pass the turn. Try to hit uh, either the Flame Sweep and then just kind of pick him off removal after that. We'll probably get Priest of Forgotten Gods if that comes out. Robber the Rich. All right. What is that? Scorching Dragonfire? Uh, it does hit Planeswalker, so it's a little bit annoying, but it's fine. All right, pass the turn. We'll do it at instant speed. Let's see, actually, if they play a land, they could save the knight. All right, swings in. We'll just let it resolve. That's fine. They get an opt. Okay, they go to pump and we will flame sweep. All right, perfect. They take we take away their chance of even using those. Life is pretty grand. Um, they tap past the turn. Playing pretty controlly. As soon as we hit land, we get a Luna, which a six six flying with trample doesn't get hit by uh, claim the firstborn. It does get sacked, which is never great. Just a strike, perfect answer for that. I guess I should wait until they're up to you, but eh, whatever. We get to play a Luna now. That's our big boy. That's right, dude. That is sweet art there. I like that a lot. I think I've been playing with a different version of it, which doesn't have the same, like, animation. And I, I'm switching back. I actually like the Carter that's here rather than the Godzilla versions on everything. I, they're just better. All right, Murderous Rider. You're a rude person. <laughs> well, we just play Control for a while or two. We get to Castle Ardenvale as well. Pass the turn. Murderous Rider. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A Shadow Spear. We'll go ahead and create a token. We can kill at any time. Um back into the bottom of its owner's library so they could come back i think i'd probably oh, I, these both exile don't they forgot about that so go ahead and kill it we'll probably just bring out the bone crusher giant now i guess i should have kept on kept the instant speed guy up okay bone crushy we can bring it back with time wipe and shock something Down to 15, past the turn. We do have a little bit of a clock now. Ardenvale for next turn. Yeah, I should have held on to the Scorching Dragon Fire. I wasn't thinking. I was just thinking, oh, it's four damage, three damage instead of the four. But whatever. That's 
fine. We still get to do two damage to them. Get removal out of their hand. We'd rather keep a Vadrock alive instead. Pass the turn. Start creating more tokens. They do have this Castle Lock Queen they've not really been using. This plays out the Murderous Rider. Okay. And equips, I assume. We do need to stop drawing lands. All the other games, I can't do anything but draw lands. But now, it's all I'm doing. <laughs> all right, Lava Coil. Build the Rider. Swing in. Thank you. Down to 10. I mean, once we get like four or five of these, it's a legitimate threat. They do get to any creature who becomes a life-linking creature. So that is a really annoying. Yeah, this guy can gain a lot of life, so we'll probably just have to fire off the, the time wipe. Still have Castle Locked Lane. Um, yeah, we have to deal with that. Alright, so time wipe. Oops. Earth and Militus. Got planes. They know it's there, so just play it. Alright, let's start drawing something that's not lands. <laughs> that would be really good. 20 cards deep. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lands. I guess that's not a ton. We've had just a lot of like cheaper spells. We need finishers now. Uh, Dream Trawler. I think that's the main reason I really like the Dream Trawler in this deck is Dream Trawler is just the perfect finisher for decks like this where we need to have something to have it be doing. A Narset. Draw two, and then we may discard a card. Understanding above all else. Meditate with me. Uh, decline. We're gonna have a three four. We get a four three. We can create a token here. Um, is holding up the shock worthwhile at all? Is the question. We'll go ahead and pass the turn. See if it is worthwhile. We get to draw an extra extra card every once in a while. They're Castle Locked Wayne. They can start using after gain some life. Maybe just killing that would have been pretty nice here as well. I just feel like we might be able to kill another creature. Murder Shredder doesn't bother us too much. It's things like the Knight of the Even Legion that will be annoying. I, just, I don't think we can kill it anyway, though. Alright. We lose in our set. Spawn of Mayhem. If we don't draw into things sometime soon... Yes! Just what I always wanted. More lands. You gotta get a way to kill Murder Shredder at least on the battlefield. Put some pressure back on. Shock ourselves for another token. They get to gain three, maybe five if they put it here. 
the below 10 so they get to go up to six so six hits for 12 we get to swing in for six back they gain two here as well not worth shocking ourselves no attacks pass the turn I guess it should have held on to Bone Crusher. I mean, actually, we we already waited till the draw. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we how we do this. Equip Shadow Spear there. We have to find Justice Strike or Vadrox to get us our Justice Strike. I mean. We've not really drawn any of those things, so you'd think that we'd run into them at some point. <laughs> the whole thing we built our deck around. Ah! <laughs> we could... Oh, we can't actually play Time Wipe from the graveyard. Um... And Castle Loctwain, draw a card. Keep them down below 10 so they can use the Spawn of Mayhem trigger as well. Uh, we're dropping pretty low here. We're going to give them a chance to gain some life, but go for a little bit of a tricky play here. Actually, no, swing with Bone Crusher Giant and that. Drawing a card is really important here, so we want to draw a card no matter what. Alright, that will die. Oh, it's a non-human! No, okay, cancel. Ah, uh, dang it! This creates humans. Well, might as well flash it in later then. Pass the turn. Yay! <laughs> okay. We're taking so much here. They get to gain a bunch of life and draw more cards. If we hit Time Wipe, we're in okay shape. If we hit. Uh, we have a lot of cards that help us out here. Yep, swings for a bunch and a half. And to five. All right, yeah. Flash it in. Dev removal, probably. Dream trawler. Okay, play Dream Trawler, swinging with Sea Dasher Octopus. We get to keep ourselves alive. Barely. <laughs> oh man. We haven't found that much blue mana either. Yeah, we don't even get to play Narset here. Did we already get rid of our Inspiring Ultimatum? Okay, swings in. We have to block with Dream Trawler. Wait, no. We take, well, we gain life. Love to have a Scorching Dragonfire or something here. Swordfish Crusader, giving us a way to draw some cards is not terrible for us. Um, 
too interesting. Okay. These don't have removal. Badrock. Mutate. Here. Please, oh please, don't have removal. Castle Lock Queen, dig for it. Okay. That's fine. If this resolves, we get to Justice Strike. They get to gain more life, that's fine, but we get to get back into the game. That's what matters. Alright, we get it. Over. Uh-huh. Justice Strike. They exile the graveyard? Hey, cast it. Spawn of Mayhem. Thank you. <laughs> we actually drew cards! We can play this game now! Um, let's go ahead, I guess, attack in first. Okay, down to 19. Draw a card. What do we get? If we get to gain life each turn, um, it may be okay to have this okay, flame sweep. Okay, we get to play Narset and then flame sweep. I could just discard it to kill a Stormfist Crusader. There are some annoying things that come with Shadow Spear. We could just hold up the mana, create a, a three, uh, another guy. Drop it onto it. Hold up Flame Sweep in response if they play like another creature first. Uh, let's do that. So pass the turn. Now's not the time to get greedy. We get to draw an extra card. They could have burn. <laughs> I guess that's that's a thing. Rotting Reggie. That's annoying. It does get trampled with this spawn of mayhem. They opt. Another bad rock is not bad. All right, yeah, keep it on top. Spawn of Mayhem. Okay, resolve. We let them keep the Stormfist Crusader. Okay, they draw a card. Unfortunately, we have to target, I think, at the same time with the other... Um, we get Lava Quail, though. All right, so we get to grab a few things here. So I think we just hold off on the Flame Sweep, try to gain some life with uh, Narset. I'd almost rather to be able to draw the extra card at the moment. All right, uh, yeah, so create another human. We can Vadrox onto the other Vadrox. Very time raveler. Okay, in that case, we can bounce the shadow sphere so they don't gain life from this. Does that matter? All right, to fairy. Oh, uh, we only get to play one of these. I should have played Narset first, so then we can play the Teferi there. Okay, bounce. Um... I I'd rather kill things, so bounce the Shadow Spear so I don't gain life. Draw a card. 
Vajrock onto the other Vajrock. Um, over, sure, why not? Get the ability twice. We get to grab Justice Strike and Lava Coil. Lava Coil, hit Spawn of Mayhem. Yes, sir. Justice Strike, hit Rotting Reggie. Swing in, draw a card. I guess I don't want them to be drawing cards, so we will go ahead and Bone Crusher this guy as well. Flame Seep can be nice as well. Uh, how do I want to do this? I can also mutate onto this. So, at instant speed. So, pass the turn. Um, draw a card, yeah. Everful Phoenix. Okay, so more mutate, more free spells. Teferi, we actually would like to have die at this point. Okay, play Shadow Spear. We're fine if it goes to equip. If he goes to attack, then we'll flash this in. Ember Cleave. Yeah, okay. Equipment is annoying. All right, so you go to combat, <sighs> hit Pedrax again. I mean, if they have removal, this is really bad for us. Then just hitting the Bone Crusher Giant would have been better. But we get to get three, or sorry, two more spells. All right, so under it, yep, two spells. Let's grab Lava Coil again. And let's just go for Opt. Yeah, cast Opt. Land to the bottom. Cub Warden. All right, there we go. That should close out the game. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is so good. All right, we need, um, I guess, Teferi... All right, another spawn of mayhem. That's fine. Okay. Play Narset out. Draw. Actually, our life total is low enough. Let's go ahead and gain some life. I can make this a life linker. Okay, mutate onto you. Um, over. So we will grab Lava Coil and Opt. Yep, cast the Opt. Dude, all right. Yeah, once you get Vedrex going, it is so much fun. Uh, to the bottom. The cycling, I guess, could be nice, but... Lava Quill, the spawn of mayhem. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, swing in for a bunch and a half. With lifelink now. I think I want to hold off on the Everquill Phoenix. I'd rather be able to play multiple things. Um, oh yeah, go to the... Play land, uh, tick up. We're just going to tick up for blue mana here. Gain some life. Play Teferi, yes. Now we get multiple Teferis. We get to balance Embercleave. We get to, they can't cast it in some speed now. Not that it matters too much. Oh, why did I keep that one? Oops. <laughs> All right, take up. Pass the turn. I mean, they can still hit something really, like, uh, they can give something haste 
Embercleave, Shadow Spear, but we do have the lock down now. I, yeah, I guess maybe holding up mana would have been better there. But we're gaining five life a turn now. Six, seven. Trumpus Crusader, cool. Draws a card down to four. Probably scooping up here. Man, this has been such a long game. <laughs> it's been a good game. I mean, it definitely swayed like crazy there, but this is just the power. I mean, a lot of people aren't playing things that kill Vedrox that well. Um, and if you get it a couple of times, I mean, this is five different times we've been able to get it on this one time. And against a good deck, I mean, this is a solid deck what they're trying to do. So many lands. They have hit a lot of lands, too. We scried a lot of ours to the bottom. Yeah, good game. Um, we will... Vadrock again onto Cub Warden. Let's see if they just scoop up. Under... Grab the Lava Coil, grab Teferi, grab Opt. <laughs> Dude, just be able to get a Teferi over and over again is so fun. Yeah, we Opt to the bottom, doesn't really matter, just in case. Yeah, play the Teferi, keep the right one this time, should have taken that with the other one first. I am not going to sit this one out. And Lava Coil, there we go. And swing in for the win. Oh man, this deck, I love it. I really, really like the way this plays out. It's it's fun because, I like I said in the past, I really like playing, uh, oh, we get to draw a couple cards. All right, cool. <laughs> There's our time white, okay. Down to four, or negative four. Um, I really like playing decks where you don't have just four of everything because I know that's that's the typical way to play. It is a smart way to play, but it's kind of boring to me now. I would rather have decks that have just like, okay, I could top deck this and win. They just, they seem more fun to me. Winning magic games is another great way to win, you know, to play as well. So I, that makes sense. Uh, let's see if our stats will drop up. But I think that we, uh, we went, I think there was only four games because that game went so long. Uh, but we won three, lost one, I believe. Uh, and overall, I really like the deck. I think it's really powerful. I think it's really fun. I think Vadrock is is definitely something that has is a sleeper here. I think I've not seen anyone else playing it, and it's definitely a good. 28 minute game and 12 minute game. Yeah, so I, apparently you're going to have some longer games with this, but uh, definitely some fun games. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Subscribe to the other channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much, and bye-bye.